Hi there, sign up Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you guys are doing really well. This reading is going to be for your next 48 hours. I'm getting right into it. Asking that your spirit team join us and your angels for a quick update for your next 48 hours. Just something maybe small. I always say that and then it turns out to be something different. But this is... Um, the Kipper deck, Kipper fortune telling deck, and then this deck right here is the Dreams of Gaia. And that's what we're going to use is your Dreams of Gaia to look at the energy that you need to focus on and then the energies around your situation. Expectation. Um, look, when I see this card, it's usually a reminder not to uh, be so fixated on what you expect that... Uh, in essence, maybe rolling out a possibility that you would have liked more. Of course, you could be a person just expecting somebody to come home any minute now. 28, expectation. 10, a completion. You could be expecting some unexpected income. Courtship. 27, unexpected income. Hmm. So maybe this is something that you really don't see coming, like because it, it says unexpected and expecting. Something's coming in for you regard, <laughs> regarding your income. Let me just word it like that. Something's coming in for you regarding your income, and it's not what you expected. So this is probably a good thing. Dreams of Gaia, and this this deck's different. It is a tarot deck. Um, it is different with the Major Arcana. There's significantly more, and I think they're in different spots. Um, I guess it's all open to interpretation, but yeah. Okay, so the uh, energy to focus on beautiful beautiful cats too seven of fire what will keep you grounded beautiful um 13 the queen of earth past energies affecting the present energy is the union card intuition here is this uh beautiful it's number 22 on the their major arcana intuition uh, future energies to look forward to. Okay, that's beautiful too. The Page of Wands, which is, um, it's my, it's a good news card. Let's see what else we have. Wow, on the, on the bottom, I have Abundance. Um, it, it is a 15, so it could be talking about the Devil Energy too. I don't think so though. I think that this deck is meant to be kind of dreamy and mystical and, um, this dragon here, it just reminded me of the dragon protecting things for the horde or protecting something for the future. Um, 13. Normally the death card, transformation and change, but I don't think we're going to go with that. I think we're just going to go with how this, <laughs> this deck is uh, uniquely itself. So bringing something into union. It's changing something but it is uh, bringing something into union that can grow. It, it almost looks like earth and fire, doesn't it? it? I mean, it looks like it's making those two elements come together. So you could have Leo, Aries, Sag coming together with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Maybe. The butterfly is um, that change and transformation. That's what that would symbolize. You have the Ouroboro. So you have the death and rebirth cycle also in that card. And that, whatever brought was brought to union here is still affecting this. There's Piscean fish. Right. So beautiful energy fighting after what you want is going to get you everywhere. That's the seven of 
wands. It, it's just like a need to stand up for yourself too. And of course you see the cats. There's major feroce, uh, fierceness and independence. Um, there's the uh, butterfly again, this time in the middle of the forehead. Page of Swords. Okay. Okay, I wasn't really clarifying anything. I was just kind of shuffling to get into that um, meditative, like, like trance here for your reading. So, Scorpio, this is about what you choose to stand up for, what you go after, how you assert yourself when you do it. You could be using divinatory tools also. Other than tarot, you could be doing scrying. You can have spirit guides in the form of animals around too. We could say that. Page of Swords. This might be a conversation. Communication. It's good communication regarding fin uh, finances doing really well, I feel like. So this is a really good, um, really good indication that you're grounded with something that's um, making some really good uh, money and, and uh, something on the domestic front too could be doing uh, really well too or going really well. So what you've heard with the Page of Swords, why do we have the Seven of Wands here? What are we um, needing to either defend or stand up for? Justice, our truth, our clarity uh, for what is right. And the Page of Wands is, uh, is taking something very seriously about the scales needing to be balanced since waiting on news but not just waiting on the news there's action behind this too behind the waiting i don't know how that's involved but libra leo aries satch so that's what uh, needs to defend oneself and then good news comes in because this is um the card that represents the it would be the page of of once the good news card So a need to defend yourself, um, Libra energy. And then here we have, like I said, this extra card, um, intuition, and it looks really cool. This card looks really cool. You've got a neat little black cat there. You have the owl and the universe sitting on top of a crystal ball that has the universe in it. So it's suggesting seer, um, or see, seeing, um, look at that, um, beautiful spider hanging from its web it's like they just kind of snuck that in too it's making um weaving your dreams making your dreams a reality weaving something in, and maybe uh indicating a craft or a skill that's going to be profitable here especially with because i'm looking at the other cards around here the good news the abundance card So something about this in your intuition is telling you you're not expecting this, but go ahead and expect your good luck before it even comes. So tell us more about this um, communication between the Queen of Earth and the Union card. So maybe it's transforming or yeah, changing communication, like transforming your relationship or communication with sounds like an individual sounds like a motherly figure or somebody that's like a mother hen you know and um, home business too <clears throat> so about the communication then hmm i would be careful careful for some miscommunication or be just being aware that there could be a chance for that um temperance is in the reverse meaning there are some people that are feeling differently to then okay so whatever you feel like justice is equal to what you're driven to feel like is your truth is not going to be everybody's truth and so there is something about chemistry um or about finding some kind of balance or maybe even allowing someone to help others 
get along like maybe a peace peacemaker or peacekeeper position two of wands in the reverse with the three of wands um i think it's divine timing possibly to make some plans or to to lay down plans of things that you have already envisioned and things that like how you see yourself expand expanding so it's time to talk about plans for expansion expanding my cornucopia is definitely here to come too what is this part of uh, intuition telling you to listen to here what is it telling you about your intuition knight of wands what you still have the the fire for the spark for and then um what you're wanting to get what direction you're wanting to move in with the knight of wands sagittarius energy possibly the magician tell me more about why the magician is like that Oh, because it was taking a situation that didn't seem very hopeful at all. Maybe with this Queen of Earth energy, Capricorn. Or maybe with, like, didn't expect this abundance to come out of a not-so-hopeful situation. But I think it does. I think it does. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. So this is definitely, okay, from a not-so-hopeful situation... Keep yourself grounded because you're about to get communication of help or unexpected income to pull you out of a situation that didn't seem hopeful. Now, this can also be like a health concern. Oh, look, there's a five of pentacle again right here. A health concern, trickster energy. something like to be worried about on on the tangible here tell me more about how um how does this good news come to us how do we get good news or how does how does the good news find us from this uh five of pentacle energy um seven of swords in the reverse with the ten of wands in the reverse Somebody that was caught trying to get away with doing maybe less than what they were supposed to do. This is burnout regarding, it almost feels like regarding charity too. You like don't, don't take on too much. You could be taking on too much. Mm, there's a need to find that magician inside of you with the queen of wands this is also coming across as confidence in your skills and abilities like this intuition card with that black cat and the knowledge your skills your abilities sharing your gifts your talents with others So tell us more about the abundance then. Tell us more about the, oh, okay. So if you're worried about um, finances coming in, like if you're at that five of pentacle energy where you're just like, I don't know, I'm waiting on a solid offer or some good money to come in. This is slow but steady success. And the knight of pentacles is a good solid offer here for you. might be coming in slow but it's steady and it is coming somebody's going to live up to what they said with the high honor card too somebody might be a false person in the mix twenty and maybe a house involved Look, and then some sudden wealth, 11. Jeez. 
that's what I got for you. Scorpio, I'm going to end up going on too long if I keep going. But that's what I've got for your main reading. Part, uh, Leo, Leo, Aries, Sag is really strong in your reading. And Capricorn, for sure. Maybe Taurus and Virgo, too. But you find justice. Something gets balanced out. Spiritual herbalist. Your sp spiritual healer. Your healing rituals and ancient wisdom. I also have clairvoyance for this intuition. Look at that. Knowing when something is done. Knowing when the light, the spark is out. Holy crap. This is what you already know. Clairvoyance. Clear seeing because you can see. Whew. All right. So that's what I've got. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.